Hello and welcome everyone to the daily news analysis of 22nd of August 2023. I hope आप लोग सभी अच्छे होंगे। तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं आज का आज के दिन का पहला आर्टिकल। तो पहला जो हमारा आर्टिकल यहाँ पर दिया हुआ है, चंद्रयान three reveals dark side of moon. चंद्रयान three का जो लैंडर वो अभी वहाँ पर मून पे पहुँचा हुआ है, अभी dark side reveal किया हुआ है। ये वाला आर्टिकल पेज नंबर वन में मिल जाएगा आपको सेकंड का है एज मेनी एज 189 ट्राइबल कॉलोनीज इन केरला स्टिल लैक इन इंटरनेट कन एक्सेस ट्राइबल कॉलोनीज 189 ट्राइबल कॉलोनीज को अभी पहुंचाना बाकी है लैक इन इंटरनेट एक्सेस तीन का तीन नंबर तीन नंबर जो है द ब्रिक्स टेस्ट फॉर इंडियास मल्टीपोलैरिटी रिहोटरीज ये वाला हम लोग एडिटोरियल सेक्शन में देख लेंगे देखेंगे पेज नंबर 6 चार नंबर का जो है दी सऊदी अरेबिया एंड यूएई डिवाइड बिकम्स पब्लिक सऊदी अरेबिया यूएई का डिवाइड जो है पब्लिक हो गया अभी नेक्स्ट है ऑन स्मार्टफोन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन इंडिया स्मार्टफोन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इन इंडिया मैन्युफैक्चरिंग किसे हो जाएगा व्हाट आर द कंसर्न्स अबाउट ड्रिलिंग इन द नॉर्थ सी क्या-क्या कंसर्न है ड्रिल नॉर्थ सी में नॉर्थ सी में ड्रिल करने का कोई क्या-क्या मतलब कंसर्न्स आ रहे हैं आ रहे हैं वो सब ये वाला आर्टिकल में हम देखेंगे और ये पेज नंबर 8 में आ रहा है ऑल आईज ऑन पॉसिबल एक्साई मोदी मीट एस पी एम विच इज साउथ अफ्रीका टुडे जिंगपिंग और मोदी का जो मीटिंग होने वाला है क्या होने वाला है कैसे होने वाला है पूरा देखेंगे ये मतलब अभी पहुंचे हुए हैं देखना बाकी है अभी क्या होगा क्या नहीं होगा नेक्स्ट है इक्वेडोरिया इक्वेडोरियन रिजेक्ट्स ऑयल ड्रिलिंग इन द अमेजन हिस्टोरिक डिसीजन इक्वेडोरियन जो हैं वो रिजेक्ट कर दिए हैं ऑयल ड्रिल करने के लिए नेक्स्ट है इंडिया एशियन एग्री टू रिव्यू गुड ट्रेड पैक गुड ट्रेड पैक बाय 2025 टू फिक्स एसिमेट्री एसिमेट्री जो हो रहा था उसे फिक्स करने के लिए अभी राजी हो गए हैं गुड गुड ट्रेड का मतलब गुड्स का गुड्स का जो ट्रेड हो रहा है उसके बाद मतलब रिव्यू करने के लिए चलिए देखते हैं आज का पहला आर्टिकल चंद्रयान 3 से रिलेटेड है चंद्रयान 3 रिवील्स डार्क साइड ऑफ मून चंद्रयान 3 रिवील्स डार्क साइड ऑफ मून Ahead of the scheduled landing of the Chandrayaan-3 lander on moon on Wednesday, the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO on Monday releases images of far side of lunar surface. Far, far side मतलब यहाँ पर क्या है? मतलब जो हमें दिखाई नहीं देता है generally. दूसरे side का चन, चन, मतलब moon का दूसरे side जो है उसी का picture image अभी दिया हुआ है. The far side is also known as the dark side of the moon as it is always hidden from earth the image <coughs> the images were captured on august 19 by lander hazard detection and <coughs> evidence camera on on board of the lander this camera that ass assist in locating a safe landing area without boulders or drift trenches during the descent in Descent is developed by ISRO at, at SSE, the space agency posted on X formerly Twitter. Russia's lunar, Russia's lunar 25, which crashed into moon on Sunday, had sent images of far side of moon. The ISRO has already released three videos of the moon captured by Chandrayaan 3. ISRO has already released three videos of the moon. Captured by Chandrayaan 3 file. One of them was taken by lander positioning position detection camera on August 15. Another was taken by lander image camera. Lander image camera one just after separation of lander module from the propulsion module on August 17. August on August 6, it is said the first video of the Moon is viewed by Chandrayaan 3 during lunar orbit insertion on August 5. So, this is India Today ka image liya ho, liya gaya hai. Ye image dark side of moon. This image is the image of the moon. Ka image hai abhi. 
तो हम लोग देखेंगे यहाँ पर दो ही चीजें जो ये हो गया लेंडर हजार डिटेक्शन एंड एविडेंस लेंडर हजार लेंडर हजार डिटेक्शन एंड एविडेंस कैमरा ये क्या है और जो प्रपोल्सन वाला था सॉरी लेंडर पोजीशन डिटेक्शन कैमरा ये वाला दो ये दो दोनों कैमरा क्या है थोड़ा चेक कर लेते हैं तो लेंडर हजार डिटेक्शन एंड एविडेंस कैमरा एल एच डी ए सी हेल्प द लैंडर आइडेंटिटी ए सेफ लोकेशन विदाउट बोल्डर्स और डीप ट्रेंचेस फॉर लैंडिंग विथ विद इन द फोर किलोमीटर टू टू पॉइंट फोर किलोमीटर लैंडिंग साइड ड्यूरिंग इट्स डिसेंट एहेड ऑफ द अगस्ट ट्वेंटी थ्री टच डाउन और लैंडर पोजिशन डिटेक्शन कैमरा क्या है विच इज ऑन बोर्ड द लैंडर has been turned on so that it can help in identifying the ideal locating uh, location for a soft landing of lunar surface ye dono check kijiye to next hamara jo article tha wo tha as many as 189 travel colonies in kerala still lack in internet access do kerala was first state in country to de declare the right to internet uh, internet बेसिक राइट एज मेनी एज वन एटी नाइन आदिवासी उरू ट्राइबल कॉलोनीज स्प्रेड ओवर ट्वेल्व डिस्ट्रिक्ट स्प्रेड ओवर ट्वेल्व डिस्ट्रिक्ट इन द स्टेट स्टील हैव नो एक्सेस टू इंटरनेट एंड मोबाइल कनेक्शन द लैक ऑफ एक्सेस ऑफ एफेक्ट द प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ प्रोस्पेक्ट ऑफ ओवर फाइव थाउजेंड ट्राइबल स्टूडेंट इन दिस कॉलोनीज अकॉर्डिंग टू द डाटा एवेलेबल विद द शेड्यूल्ड ट्राइब ट्राइब्स डेवलपमेंट डिपार्टमेंट इडुकी is the highest number of travel colonies cut off digitally from the mainland 75 colonies accommodating 2000 travel students students connor comes second with 1140 students murali m nair joint director in charge director directorate directorate of scheduled tribes so directorate of scheduled tribes development department said the department had sought the forest department for forest department's permission to set up towers in tribal colonies situated inside the forest under the provision of the forest right act internet and uh, mobile connection in these colonies would be made available under a union cabinet approved approved project that aims at providing 4g mobile service services in remote areas officials said that the work on setting up the towers would be launched soon after permission was granted we hope that by december the state will be in a position to address the digital divide digital divide in the tribal colonies said another senior officer kfon project government source government sources claimed that community study room community study room set up in a set up in various parts of the state provided facility for students to use in use the internet however students from remote digitally cut off colonies seldom make use of such facilities the provision the previous left democratic front ldf government had declared internet connection a basis basic right when when the 1548 crore kerala fiber optic networks k f o n kerala fiber optic networks a project aimed at providing free internet access to 20 lakh below poverty line bpl below poverty line families in the state and providing internet connection at a nominal rate to the public was launched in 2019 and the first phase of the project was commissioned in june 2023 the kerala high court had earlier had held that the right to have access to the internet is part of uh, the fundamental right is part of fundamental right to education as well as the right to privacy under article 21 of the constitution your editorial ka section hai the bricks test for the bricks test for india's multipolar multipolarity rhetorics once again new delhi is back in the thick of global geopolitics of things sharing summits navigating tricky mention choices ducking geographical oil winds the and negotiating a place at the 
हाई टेबल ऑफ ग्लोबल गवर्नेंस द अपकमिंग ब्रिक्स ब्रिक्स मतलब ब्राजील रशिया इंडिया चाइना एंड साउथ अफ्रीका का जो समिट है उसे ब्रिक्स बोला जाता है समिट इन साउथ अफ्रीका फ्रॉम अगस्त 2022 टू अगस्त 24 विल बी एन इम्पोर्टेंट स्ट्रेस टेस्ट फॉर इंडियन डिप्लोमेसी एंड ए हरबाइन हरबाइंजर ऑफ द सेफ ऑफ जियो पॉलिटिक्स टू कॉम और श्योर The ability of the BRICS to record or uh, reorder or steer the global economy in an, in any significant manner is deeply suspect. Its appetite to create economic agreements amongst its own numbers limited, and its historical capability to influence the global geopolitics overestimated. And as a block, it is and, and as a block, it is hardly an attractive investment destination. More so, BRICS today sound more revisionist. and reactive then proactive or clear headed on what it wants to do and yet it could going forward becoming become an entire entity capable of influencing the future of world politics the geopolitical development of the past year or so and the challenges faced by the united nations system and may have given another lease of life to brics brics after all is also more globally represented uh, than united nations security council and g7 though <coughs> less than g20 which is dominated by the west in that sense the choices that brics makes at summit makes at the summit and thereafter could have major implications for the international international system <coughs> Many path to global governance. The global governance has failed, or that it is weak, or deeply undemocratic practices need no reputation. Reputations, if deeply un or unrepresented character of global governance institution and mechanisms has had has led to their failure, and there is little possibility of a more inclusive system anytime soon. forums such as brics will invariably fill such important institutional vacuum no matter how inadequate that 40 odd countries have formally or informally expressed interest in joining and expanded brics just five countries today is reflected of the deeply held sense of against and anger in the global south countries about their place in the world at a time of global geopolitical uncertainty with the global order going um, going through a major crunch middle power regional heavyweights and the outliers that are weighing their options exploring where they belong belong or try or trying to belong where they can would want to utilize forum such as brics to make sense of global geopolitical headwinds has or place their bets and influence the geopolitics around them for in instance and the uncertain uncertain tilts uncertainty is arising up arising out of the ukraine war and the steady rise of china have clearly provided a new release of life to the to the otherwise moribund brics now that brics or the shanghai cooperation organization will have will lead to truly democratic global truly democratic global governance or multipolarity perhaps nothing can these forums too are these forums too are repeat with committing interests and calculations including inbuilt and on side hierarchies and yet these very forum could ignite a genuine conversation on making global governance more representative and inclusive in global governance more impact imperfect institution reflecting the realities of today that today are better than one imperfect institutional structure that is alien to the world of today international politics should not be the place for hegemonic performing perf- perfections but of democratic imperfection new delhi's dilemma
फॉर इंडिया द जियो पोलिटिकल चॉइसेस टूडे आर नाइदर क्रिस्टल क्लियर नाइदर क्रिस्टल क्लियर नोर इजी टू मेक फॉर वन वेयर डज इंडिया बिलोंग टू द ग्लोबल जियो पोलिटिकल लैंडस्केप देर इज फॉर इंस्टांस ए टेंडेंसी इन द वेस्ट टू व्यू इंडिया मेम्बरशिप ऑफ ब्रिक्स एंड एस इन द कॉन्टेक्सट ऑफ यूक्रेन वार एंड यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स वेस्ट वर्सेस द स्टैंड ऑफ विथ रशिया एन ऑफ्ट रिपीटेड क्वेश्चन इज हाउ कैन इंडिया बी ए पार्ट ऑफ द क्वाड ऑस्ट्रेलिया जापान द यू एस एंड इंडिया जी ट्वेंटी जी सेवन एंड ब्रिक्स एस सी ओ एंड ग्लोबल साउथ एंड एट द सेम टाइम दिस इज ए डीपली हिस्टोरिकल व्यू इंडिया एक्टिव पार्टिसिपेशन इन नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न मल्टीलेटरल फोरम सच एज ब्रिक्स एस सी ओ एंड ग्लोबल साउथ मोस्ट also be seen in india, seen as india's response to the undemocratic and inad in equitable governance structure of post second world war institutions such as the international monetary fund the world bank and even as seen at the same time india india's objective is not is not to create or belong to an anti us west bloc either Developmentally, historically, and geographically, India belongs to BRICS, SEO, and the Global South. But India does not only belong to them. More so, you know, China's over overwhelming presence in in them makes it less than perfect geopolitical choice for India. Structurally and aspirationally, the G20, G7, Quad, and the like are where New Delhi is headed. But India's accommodation is the most influential among the among those forums is a long shot. India, as a result, is located right in the middle of an emerging geopolitical front line fault line with internal interests on either side, welcomed by either side, but fully belong belonging to neither. This could not, and this could either make India as a bridge between the great divides of its lack of loyalty to neither could make it a victim or of emerging geopolitical contest contestation. This uh, this harper the fault line becomes the harder will uh, harder it will be for New Delhi to balance it. One of the major danger of the current. Uh, Turn in geo in global geopolitics is the rise of competing blocks in the international system with China and Russia aligning their global interest. The organization that they are part of, whom, whose membership they are attempting to enhance, are likely to be pitted against the status quo. Order by uh, order led by the U.S. and its allies. India India has traditionally opposed the creation of blocks as the as they go against the fundamental spirit of equitable global governance and multipolarity. Multipolarity is the Indian historical imagination is about equity. Inclusion and representation, not block rivalry. Ideologically, ideologically. or otherwise however even if the new delhi vehemently opposes block politics it will continue to get drawn into it the question is that new delhi must ask every step of the way as it pursues a multipolar world and alternative mechanism for global governance is whether or not it helps boost the rise of china globally no doubt to a multipolar world requires a strong alternative global forums and perhaps even attempts at the de-dollarization de but those very but those very forums will go on to aid the rise of china and the strengthening of one to think de-dollarization would lead to strengthening of the rupee in delusion delusional as it believe that china and india share larger geopolitical interest they may find value in the instrumental utility of non-western institutions but their 
एंड गोल्स आर फंडामेंटली डाइवर्जेंट गिवन इट्स साइज इकोनॉमिक एंड इकोनॉमिक इन्फ्लुएंस एंड द स्प्रेड ऑफ द बेल्ट एंड रोड इनिशिएटिव एंड डिप्लोमेटिक बैंड विद चाइना विल इन्फ्लुएंस एंड एक्सपेंडेड ब्रिक्स एंड इंडिया विथ इट्स लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेस वुड ट्रबल टू मैच दिस पैराडॉक्सिकली एंड द एंड परहैप्स ट्रैजिकली द मोर इंडिया हेल्प्स टू स्ट्रेंथन नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न इंस्टीट्यूशन एंड फ्रेमवर्क्स देयरबाय वीकनिंग द पोस्ट सेकंड वर्ल्ड वॉर टू वर्ल्ड वॉर ऑर्डर द मोर इट हेल्प्स एलबिट इनडायरेक्टली चाइनास रिविजनिस्ट एजेंडा द चैलेंज बिफोर इंडिया इज टू चूज बिटवीन ए चाइना ए सेंट्रिक वर्ल्ड और द वेस्ट वेस्ट सेंट्रिक वर्ल्ड ऑर्डर और बैलेंस द टू इफ द लेटर इज ट्रू प्रिचली फॉर इंडिया द फॉर्मर इट इज ट्रू माचिया वेलियन एंड बैलेंसिंग इज गोइंग टू गेट टफर एंड बैलेंसिंग इज गोइंग टू गेट टफर इंडिया मस्ट इंडिया मस्ट देयर फॉर कीप इट्स आईज हार्मली फिक्सड ऑन इट्स ग्लोबल प्रमोट and global promote more representative and equitable global governance on the one hand and ensure that such an order does not end up on undercutting its own national interest while india must moderate the influence of india of china in northwestern forum in doing so it must also make sure not to alienate other countries in the global south who may see merit of merit in china say for set expanding the membership of those forums the geopolitical predicament this poses before new delhi is hardly an easy to easy one to navigate asserting itself in north in non western global forum such as brics and sco checking the steadily growing china chinese influence in them and dealing and dealing with western normative expectation while neg- negotiating a place for itself in euro centric forum such as unsc and g7 it must and do all this simultaneously the saudi arabia uae divide become public